everybody! Welcome to another episode of Adventures with Educatey. I'm your host, Educatey, and today we're talking all about Texas horn lizards. Texas horn lizards are really unique animals, and they are actually lizards, not amphibians. Many people call them horny toads or horned frogs, but in fact, they are lizards and reptiles. The secret is in their scales. Now with horned lizards, they all are called horned lizards because they have horns, but Texas horned lizards have very, very large occipital horns that come out of the back of their skull. They also have two rows of fringed scales that go along the sides of their body. Now these scales help them with protection if uh, they're threatened by animals like bobcats, coyotes, or domestic dogs and cats. They will inflate their bodies with air and those spines will poke out even more. Those scales also help them with drinking water. So you wouldn't think that they need scales to drink water, but where these guys live, it's very dry. So their scales help them to channel water up from the ground onto their body and then towards their mouth. Very unique and really, really cool. Historically, Texas horn lizards could be found throughout the state of Texas, but today they can only be found in the western two-thirds of Texas. So if you take a line and draw it from Fort Worth to Corpus Christi and go west, that's the portion of Texas where you can find Texas horned lizards. Now they prefer to live in habitats that are very dry and arid with small scrub plants that they can drink water off of. During the heat of the day, they'll bury themselves in the sandy soil below. And when it's a little bit cooler, they'll come out to try to find some of their favorite foods, which are harvester ants. Harvester ants make up 70% of the diet of Texas horned lizards. They sometimes will eat crickets or beetles or grasshoppers, but they are considered to be culinary specialists and they rely pretty much only on harvester ants. And that has contributed to their decline. If they aren't able to find their food, they aren't able to live there, which is why they're only found in that Western two thirds of Texas today. So in 1977, the state of Texas recognized that the Texas horned lizard population was in decline. So they were actually put on the threatened species list. And today they are protected. It is illegal to touch, move, or possess Texas horned lizards unless you have a license and a permit. And there are several reasons that have all worked together to actually cause the decline of their population. One of those is the invasion of the fire ant species. Fire ants are actually from South America and they have been imported to the United States through plants and through different types of agricultural trading, and they have made their way up into the United States. But fire ants outcompete harvester ants. They eat the same foods and they will actually come through a habitat and outcompete the harvester ants. Also, the bait used to kill fire ants also kills harvester ants. So large scale baiting projects to kill all of the fire ants with broadcast bait has actually killed all species of ants and other insects. Another reason that they are threatened is because of habitat loss. As people have urbanized and turned fields into agricultural fields for growing crops, the Texas horned lizard doesn't have a spot to live. So if it doesn't have a spot to live, it can't survive. And if it doesn't have a spot to live that also has its food, it also cannot survive there. Another reason that Texas horn lizard populations are in decline is because of over collection. Texas horn lizards are very unique. They're covered in really cool spines and they're also just really cool, chill little lizards. And many people want to keep them as pets and to show their friends. But when we collect those animals from the wild, they aren't able to reproduce and replenish population. Just another reason that their population is declining. So at the Dolores Fennick Nature Center, we now actually have a breeding population of Texas horned lizards in partnership with Texas Parks and Wildlife. And to speak a little bit more on that, here's our Natural Resources Manager, Colin Andresik. Thanks, Katie. Hi, I'm Colin Andresik, the Natural Resources Manager for the City of Fairland. And here at the Dolores Fennick Nature Center, we're working on a project with the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department to preserve these amazing creatures for future generations to come. And how we're doing that is we have a small population of adult lizards that breed in captivity and then the offspring are then released back into suitable sites to reestablish populations where they should be. So here at the Nature Center, we're very excited to join Texas Parks and Wildlife Department as well as other organizations and zoos throughout the state in this really great and worthy conservation effort. Yeah. <laughs>